Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the data visualization basics in R tutorial series. So today we'll be looking at how to save multiple plots as PDF. So for this we'll be using the ggplot2 package and the ggpubr package. So I demonstrated how to use this package yesterday and we created multiple plots. So please refer to my video if you are interested in that. I'll be attaching a link in the description section. So here pubbar means publication ready. So let's run these packages and also create a sample data frame as always with four columns here on trees, lo trees location, height and standard deviation. And let's generate two sample bar plots like yesterday. So these are the two bar plots we have it's the same with different color gradients and now we will be plotting these multiple plots together so this was our final result from yesterday and today we'll be just seeing how to save these as PDF file for that first uh, set your working directory so this is a place where you'll be saving the file and for exporting these plots as a single PDF file we'll be using the gg export function and we need to enter what the variable is on the variable that contains our arranged plot and then we need to mention what our file name is so this will save our plots as a PDF of name sample plot so let's run this code so this is saved and now if we check my desktop you can see that they have generated a PDF file of these plots but it's not just for PDF you can generate PNG or even uh, JPEG files so if you run this you get a PNG file here so this is kind of really cool and you can play around with the heights here like I had mentioned yesterday so if you make it 2 2 it will be like equal and now you can save it or you can change the number of columns and change the configuration if you have a lot of plots this will make more sense so instead of uh, one over the other now it's like placed parallelly and now if you save this file you the result will be different so yeah it looks something like this you can actually even change the resolution of these and also if you have multiple plots you can use a plot list so these are a few other options i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will see you guys tomorrow ciao